Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on coding with Soham Jane. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be going through how you can create your own facial landmark and feature detection in Python. To get started, I'm importing a few libraries like CV2, Dlib, and NumPy, and as well as there's another library so I can load in the dataset, and finally matplotlib so we can visualize the facial landmarks. To get started, I have nothing in the folder right now, but once I run this piece of code, I'll be able to load in this dataset. And as always, I'm going to have the code in a GitHub in the description of this video, so go ahead and check that out. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll be explaining how exactly this facial landmark detection works. And to get started, after I've imported the libraries, I'm creating these two variables, which are frontal face detector and landmark predictor. And they're using this dlib library that I imported before. So I can go ahead and run that. The next method is to get the landmarks. So this URL response is getting the URL. And then after that, it's turning that into an image and finally detecting the faces and the landmarks. So an important note for this is that this method requires the URL. So once I run that, we're able to load in the method. The next method is image landmarks. What we're doing here is getting the image and the facial landmarks. After that, it's essentially plotting them so that it's easy to visualize. Like I said before, we're importing matplotlib, so that's what this method uses. It's setting the radius to negative one, the circle thickness to five, and then it's creating a copy of the image so it can add the facial landmarks to that. So for each facial landmark, it's adding the circle. Finally, it's just showing the plot. So we can go ahead and run that method. And finally, here's where we're getting the URL for the image. So this URL right here will be in the GitHub below, but just to show you what this looks like, I have this image pulled up over here, and it's essentially just a photo of a face. And what we wanna be able to do is detect each of the features. For example, the eyebrows, the eyes, the lips, nose, and such. So once I go ahead and run that, we're getting the image and we're plotting the image landmarks using the two methods I defined above. So let's go ahead and copy this URL and then paste it where it's asking for the URL of the image. Once we do that, we can see that it's detecting each of the facial landmarks. So that's exactly what we wanted. The next part of this code is detecting each of the specific facial landmarks. For example, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and such. But we want to do them separately. So what I've gone ahead and done here is taking the landmark indices. And these are set values that define each of the indices for the landmarks. For example, the eyes will be indices from 36 to 47, nose is 27 to 35, and so on. Once we get this dictionary, landmark indices, we're also creating a NumPy array using these same points so that we can get the eye, nose, mouth, jawline, and eyebrow. So I'll go ahead and run that. And now finally, this last part of the code is the most important because we're taking each of the selected landmarks instead of all of the landmarks at once. For example, I'm using this landmarks array that we created in one of the methods above. And then I'm using the I points first from this NumPy array, and I'm creating this variable selected landmarks. Once we do that, we can use the image landmarks button to show the image with the selected landmarks. We don't just do this for the eye points, but we do them for the nose, mouth, jawline, and eyebrow. So once we go ahead and run this, we can see that the first image was just the eye landmarks. Next was the nose, mouth, jawline, and finally the eyes. Just to note, the points that we used before may differ based on the image, but in general, these are the points that you want to use. In my next tutorial, I plan to use these landmarks in order to create a facial emotion detector model using artificial intelligence. If you want to see that tutorial, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any questions or if you want me to go over anything in this video in more detail, then please consider leaving a comment down below as well. That's it for me, and this was Coding with Soham Jane.